Dear friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of John Huffman Peeler and Mackenzie Lee Wood in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for one another. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee and in his sacrificial love gave us the example for the love of husband and wife. Mackenzie and Huffman come now to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. I ask both of you now in the presence of God and these people to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of Jesus Christ who calls you into union with himself as was acknowledged in both of your baptisms. Mackenzie, will you have Huffman to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? And Huffman, will you take Mackenzie to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. Amen. The marriage of Mackenzie and Huffman unites their families and creates a new one, and they ask for all of your blessings. I ask all of you gathered here, especially this wedding party, will all of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for these two persons in their marriage. If you will do that, will you respond by saying, I will. Amen. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? The mother and I. May the Lord be with you. Let us pray together. O God of all people, you are the true light illumining everyone. You show us the way, the truth, and the life. You love us even when we are disobedient. You sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And we rejoice in your life in the midst of our lives. We praise you for your presence with us today, O God, especially in this act of solemn covenant. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen and amen. Hear now the word of the Lord that comes to us from Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what has been planted, a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a 
time for war and a time for peace. The word of the Lord for you, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Mackenzie and Huffman. We hear these beautiful, wonderful words of wisdom. And it reminds us of this time in your life. And for everything, there is a season, especially for both of you today. For this is the season of expectation. It's the season in the church of Advent and Christmas, a time when we remember the wonderful gift of God to us, the gift of our Savior, Jesus Christ. When I look at both of you, I see what a wonderful gift God has given to all of us. Huffman, you are an outstanding young man. You are a gift to your mother and to your father and to all of us. And Mackenzie, you are a beautiful woman with a wonderful heart that cares and loves those who are small and younger who cannot care for themselves. You are a gift to your family as well. You come at this time in your lives realizing most importantly that you are a gift to one another. And so for everything there is a season and in this season always remember that God has given you to Huffman and Huffman God has given you to Mackenzie. May you always cherish that gift. May you always know how much God loves you. And may you always feel the love that we all have for both of you. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And amen. Please pray with me. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, giver of all grace, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit Huffman and Mackenzie who come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and with one another all the days of their lives. And may they reach out in concern and service to the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen and amen. And now, Huffman and Mackenzie, I ask if you will turn and face one another and join hands as you give your vows before God to one another. And Huffman will begin with you. In the name of God. In the name of God. I Huffman. I Huffman. Take you Mackenzie. And take you Mackenzie. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. And this is my solemn vow. And this is my solemn vow. And now, Mackenzie, if you will, give your vows to help me. I, Mackenzie. I, Mackenzie. Take you, Huffman. Take you, Huffman. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. May I have the ring? These rings are the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to each of us 
the union between Jesus Christ and his church. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. And Huffman, I ask if you will place Mackenzie's ring on her finger and repeat after me. Mackenzie, I give you this ring. Mackenzie, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Mackenzie, you place Huffman's ring on his finger and repeat after me. Huffman, I give you this ring. Huffman, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. <coughs> we'll join the pastors and join hands with one another. You have declared your consent and vows before God, before your families, before this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Amen. Now that Huffman and Mackenzie have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. Let us pray. O God, you have so consecrated the covenant of Christian marriage that in it is represented the covenant between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessings upon Huffman and Mackenzie, that they may surely keep their marriage covenant, and so grow in love and godliness together, that their home may be a haven of blessings and of peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. And now, Mackenzie and Huffman, May God the Eternal keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may abide in your home. Go. Go and serve God and your neighbor in all that you do. And to you, bear witness to the love of God in this world so that those to whom love is a stranger will find in you a generous friend. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, both now and forevermore. Amen. And you may kiss your bride. Friends, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. John Huffman Peeler.